What's up guys? Welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing off this cool little mod that I picked off off AliExpress. I think I literally paid like $9 and it's a cool little mod. Let me show you guys. So at the moment, this is my E46 interior. As a lot of you guys know, basically everything in this car has like been DIY, like this carbon fiber center console, all of this has been refinished. Some 3D trim covers, also got some ambient lighting going. And then this is a full DIY steering wheel, which is hydro dipped over here on the trims for carbon fiber. And then this is a basically a restitch I did from uh, AliExpress. But overall, it does look really good. I also got some paddle shifters. But over here, we're gonna be adding a little bit of an addition. So this is everything that came in the packaging for the product. Um, I got off AliExpress, it was probably like, I think like $9, but everything in the box. So it comes with the replacement button, a small little flathead and half a cigarette. So I haven't really seen too many videos of this online on like how to install it, but my best guess would be to like remove the steering wheel with the airbag and then go from behind and replace it. Cause I have no idea how it would be possible to replace without moving the steering wheel trims at least. So gotta go ahead and move the steering wheel first. So first things first, you wanna make sure you go disconnect your battery. So there's usually a little cover that sits on top of it with two little clips. You wanna remove the clips and move this out the way. I also have a sub that sits on top of my battery, but you guys should not really have that. You just wanna remove that 10 millimeter bolt and move the cable out the way and make sure you don't electrocute yourself. You basically just want to disconnect the battery just to make sure that the airbag doesn't blow up in your face and give you one eye vision for the rest of your life. After the battery is disconnected, what you want to do is go behind the steering wheel. There's basically a button, or not a button, but like a little hole right here that you want to stick a flathead into. It's also the same thing on the other side. So right over there, you basically just want to stick two flatheads in at the same time. And there's basically like a spring mechanism that you want to push in and it kind of goes like this together towards each other and then the airbag kind of just pops out like that you are gonna have to play with it for a second but you should be able to get it out there you go so you got the airbags out there's also two cables over here you want to disconnect so it's probably going to you just use a small flathead and then you kind of just pop it out like so and same thing for the black one as well so you just want to pop it out so after the airbag is out, what you want to do is remove this center bolt that's holding the steering wheel into place. And don't forget, you want the steering wheel to be dead center straight because it's going to have to go back on exactly in the same position. And you also want to go ahead and disconnect all those cables over there at the top so you can be able to remove the steering wheel completely. So now that the steering wheel is out, what you want to do is go ahead and remove those two Torx 20 bolts. There's basically one on each side. So you just want to go ahead and remove those. And then I also believe that there's going to be some on the back as well, just over here. So after those four bolts are removed, you should be able to pull out this trim over here. So you basically just wanna pull at it and just be careful about these clips right over here at the bottom because they might crack. So you just wanna be careful pulling those out. But basically just pull at it a little bit and then you should be able to pop out this whole trim piece. So once you have the trim piece out, what you wanna do is go on the backside and start removing these small Phillips head screws. And realistically, you only have to remove one side because we're only gonna be replacing the button on this side. So you don't really have to touch the other side. You basically just want to remove the side that you're going to be replacing the button on. So basically, this is the button you want to be removing. And it's pretty easy to remove. So you basically just want to grab a flathead, a super small one, and you just want to push down at it. And there's basically a clip, one on each side of the trim piece itself. And if you just push down on that specific part, it should just pop out the trim piece. And just like that, have the old little button out. And the new one should just pop right in. So you basically just want to... Put it in the right way. Oh, just dropped it. This should just go in just like that. And I want to go from behind and pop it back into that little slider it sits in. And just like that, so basically just want to go from behind. Here it pop into place, and now the button's in. So you're basically done. You just have to reassemble everything at this point. Also, when you're taking it apart, please make sure you don't lose these little trim pieces over here, because those are meant to sit for the button, I believe on the volume adjuster or the cruise control adjuster. Um, but these basically the orientation, the thinner one goes on the top. So basically just put it into a little groove like that. And then same thing for this one, just goes the other way. Put it into a little groove. And when you're reassembling the steering wheel, you want to really make sure that these don't get out of position. But then they just slip into their spot, just like that. Now, I basically just put that little back plate back on. I'm gonna put the screws back together and just make sure everything clicks correctly. And then if everything checks out, put everything back together. So after you screw everything back together, that's basically how it should look. So make sure you test all the buttons, make sure they're pressing properly. Everything does check out. Yeah, looks good. So basically now you just wanna put this back onto the steering wheel. Remember those four Torx bolts, one on each side and then two on the back side. 
and then continue. So now I'm back at the car, put the trim piece back on, and you just wanna make sure it's mounted directly dead center, because you just wanna make sure that the line for the gears, as well as the line that's on the steering wheel itself, lines up perfectly and sits nice and dead center straight. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and re-bolt the middle bolt. It's a 16 millimeter. It doesn't have to be crazy tight, but you wanna make sure it's nice and snug. So after that bolt's in, you wanna start reconnecting all your cables. And then after the cables are reconnected, just connect your airbag, put the airbag back in. Basically just snaps into place. And this is the final result. Just a quick little mod. Nice little accent feature. Looks pretty nice, especially in combination with this red. Looks pretty nice, I actually do like it. So, this is gonna be the final result. Basically just turns the button into red. Uh, nothing too crazy, but it does look pretty nice. I do like how it looks. And yeah, honestly, considering it was only nine bucks to do, definitely a well worth a month. So, other than that, that's gonna be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it pretty helpful. And if you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to answer. And if you guys wanna see more of the car, I definitely post way more on Instagram, so go ahead and give me a follow over there. So other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.